Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. In this uh, lesson, we're going to be learning about one of the most important things when you're working around with data visualizations, and that is loading your data. Because data is with what is with what your visualization will actually work with, and that's very important. And that's why we're going to study three different types of data that we're going to load and basically how to load data into Spotfire desktop. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical Spotfire. And over here, as you can see, the simplest way to add data is to click on this. Or you can click on this as well. So here you have uh, like you have the recommended options over here. You can connect to data using all these spreadsheets and different options amazon redfist and i'm not going to name all of them but you can explore around them of course you can browse your local files where over here you can browse different types of files including uh, excel files so like you can browse the world bank indicators like this and open them and it's very simple how to work around these data and as you can see an add data window opens up there you can click on the show details and it gives you options over here of course um, that uh, there is in detail right now but when it has prepared to add the data then you can see the details right here in the preview given before as you can see when you load your data a preview is opened up where you can stretch it out it's a type of wizard and you can um, view your data and of course change the type of data type it is so right now this is a string this is a date this is an integer maybe i want it to be something else so i can go over here and i can work around this However, right now I'm okay with it being a real or even an integer. Then I have the option of changing all this data. However, I'm not going to change it right now and I'm just going to click cancel right now. So there's other ways of adding your data. One of the most easiest way is to basically go. Maybe you want to take your window make it smaller and paste your data over here as well and as you can see a wizard opened up where you can edit it just like I said so this is basically the state and uh, different schools on it so this is basically all that data which we don't need right now because we're just learning how to load our data so that's a very simple way to load our data another thing you can do is go to other and over here what you can do is go to your internet explorer or any browser that you have find data copy and paste it from your clipboard so maybe what we want to do right now is go to our go for example data example data of bank of canada and what you can do is pretty easy you go to the open data of canada.ca or any other open site and uh, what you do is very simple this is a really good pro of tipco spotfire which is basically going to tipco spotfire and pasting your data on the clipboard which is pretty simple so there are, now you know that there are different types of ways of uh, connecting your data including from the home page from here you can load your data from the files and open over here 
you can also go to the recent data and connect to recommended data you can also drag and drop the data and you can also paste the data so basically maybe i want to browse in the section of education and training so right now you can uh, go for different types of text data or maybe you want a csv type of data so you can work around that and uh, you can uh, of course copy and paste your data but that's something for you to toggle around with so i hope you understood how to load your data in your typical spot fire and i hope to see you in the next lesson as well